Let's say you go into a coffee shop and after placing your order, the employee says nothing. Hi, I'm Dave Diaz with the Red Fork Marketing Team and this is Marketing Moment. Today's question is, what is a transactional email? A transactional email, otherwise known as a trigger email, is an email that's activated by someone's action or possibly even inaction. Now these are different from mass email blasts and drip campaigns, which I covered in previous videos. Transactional emails are designed for mass audiences, but they're unique to each person and the actions that they performed. Think of these emails as an acknowledgement or a response to a customer who's taking the first steps to interacting with your business. While most of the time this is referring to a financial transaction, like a purchase on your online store, transactional emails can actually be used in a variety of different ways. A quick note about these emails. You don't need to have people signed up on your email list in order to send them a transactional email. Because the customer interacted with you first, sending a transactional email isn't considered spammy. Here are a few examples of when to send the transactional email. After a purchase is made, someone left an item in the cart, or maybe you want someone to rate a product they just recently purchased. But again, you can use transactional emails for more than just a follow-up to a financial transaction. For example, have you ever received a password reset email after forgetting your password? Or maybe you received an email with a notification after posting a picture on Facebook? Or possibly even a thank you email after signing up for a service or requesting support? These are all examples of transactional emails, and these emails are designed to be received by many, many people. However, they'll only receive it after they've completed a specific action that triggers that email. So why does all of this even matter? Well, let's say you go into a coffee shop, and after placing your order, the employee says nothing. They just stare at you. Wow, that was weird. A couple minutes later, another barista comes out, delivers your coffee, but you just can't get that weird interaction out of your head. Well, that's because we're missing the acknowledgement piece. As humans, we're programmed, we're designed to acknowledge each other in conversation. Transactional emails are just that. They're responses to someone's action, and it makes people feel better whenever they receive a response from a brand or a business that they interacted with, such as receiving a thank you email after signing up for an email list. Now, if this seems like it's out of your league, or you're just not sure how to get these emails set up, do a quick search for at Red Fork Team on your favorite social platform and send me a message. I'll be more than happy to get you some free information to help you get started. So the next time you're considering ways to continue interacting with your customers, consider creating a transactional email to keep the conversation going. I hope this answered your question. If you have any other questions about transactional emails or anything related to marketing your small business, leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Ready? Email, but drop a comment below. This thing. <laughs>